People in Rhinelander will honor the dozens of Wisconsin residents who lost their lives to domestic violence last year at a vigil tonight. That's where we find Newswatch 12's Allie Herrera. Allie, good evening. Good evening, Steph. I'm here at the Triggs in Rhinelander. Right behind me is where dozens of community members are going to come here to remember those victims, the ones you were talking about. Last year, Rhinelander's Tri-County Council on Sexual, excuse me, on Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault hosted a similar event. Lanterns were distributed to honor the lives of domestic violence victims. Tonight, 51 community members will stand in line together, each holding a candle and will recite one victim's name before blowing out each candle. It doesn't matter if we knew them or not. They are citizens in our communities. They are in our state. They had families and loves and lives and those that miss them deeply. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence puts out the Remember My Name campaign each year by publishing all the names of victims across the nation. Shelley Holmes says even after working with domestic violence and sexual assault victims for 12 years, her passion continues to grow. Emotionally and mentally, I've been in this work all of my life. And it seems that the longer I stay in it, the more passionate I get about the things that seem so senseless that we want to make changes in society, that we feel like we should be making those changes. The Tri-County Council tells us this year, so far 65 victims in Wisconsin have been killed due to domestic violence. The vigil will take place here from 7 to 8 o'clock. They're encouraging everybody from the community to come out here, join them, remember the victims and remember the lives of people who were lost due to domestic violence. For now, we're covering the news live in Rhinelander. Ali Herrera, Newswatch 12.